Players, one principle, requirements, one building at least 10 stories high with an elevator. All three of these conditions must be met in order for the game to proceed. Instructions, venturing out, enter your chosen building and get into the elevator on the first floor alone. Do not proceed if anyone else is in the elevator with you. Press the button for the fourth floor. When the elevator reaches the fourth floor, do not get out. Instead, remain in the elevator and press the button for the second floor. When you reach the second floor, remain in the elevator and press the button for the sixth floor. When you reach the sixth floor, remain in the elevator and press the button for the second floor. When you reach the second floor, Remain in the elevator and press the button for the 10th floor. When you reach the 10th floor, remain in the elevator and press the button for the 5th floor. When you reach the 5th floor, a young woman may enter the elevator. Do not look at her, do not speak to her. She is not what she seems. Press the button for the 1st floor. If the elevator begins ascending to the 10th floor instead of descending to the 1st, you may proceed. If the elevator descends to the 1st floor, exit as soon as the doors open. Do not look back, do not speak. If you reach the 10th floor, you may either choose to get off the elevator or to stay on it. If you choose to get off, and if the woman entered the elevator on the fifth floor, she will ask you, where are you going? Do not answer her. Do not look at her. You will know whether you have arrived at the other world by one indication and one indication only. The only person present in it is you. The return trip. If you chose to stay on the elevator at the 10th floor, Press the button for the first floor. If it doesn't work, keep pressing it until it finally does. When the elevator reaches the first floor, exit as soon as the doors open. Do not look back. Do not speak. If you chose to exit the elevator at the 10th floor, you must use the same elevator to return as the one in which you arrived. When you enter the elevator, Press the buttons in the same order you did in steps 2 through 8 of venturing out. You should finish at the 5th floor. When you reach the 5th floor, press the button for the 1st floor. The elevator will again begin to ascend to the 10th floor. Press any other floor's button to cancel the ascension. You must press the button you use to cancel the ascension before you reach the 10th floor. After you reach the first floor, check your surroundings carefully. If anything seems off, even the smallest detail, do not exit the elevator. If you detect something wrong, repeat step 2 until your surroundings look as they should. Once you are confident you have returned to your own world, you may safely exit the elevator. Additional notes. Should you reach the other world, the floor onto which you will emerge will look almost identical to the one from your own world, save for two things. All the lights will be off, and the only thing you will be able to see from the windows is a red cross in the distance. Some say that electronic devices, mobile phones, cameras, mp3 players, etc. don't work in the other world. Others say they do. Getting back to your own world may be more difficult than it seems. You may become disoriented and forget in which elevator you arrived. The elevator may seem to get further and further away from you as you walk towards, and so on. 
be vigilant and keep your wits about you. If at any point during the ritual you faint, pass out or otherwise lose consciousness, you will likely wake up in your own home. However, be sure to carefully examine your surroundings upon waking. The home to which you have been returned may not be the one you left when you first set out to attempt this ritual. Concerning the woman on the fifth floor, do not speak to her. Do not look at her. If you do, she may decide to keep you for her own. It's in the dustiest books that you may find the best stories.